different kind of energy for right now. It's very late. <laughs> Good day, late. <sighs> I love the button. This thing is so comfy. That's the thing, sometimes we get comfortable with things, right? How do we make room for new that is in alignment with us? If we hold on so tightly to that which is already, even though it doesn't fulfill us. I'm safe. I'm focused. I'm secure. I'm confident. I'm divinely led, guided, and protected. dimensions existing that I am currently conscious of in my evolution that we are clear Part of the poison is supplying them with all they think they need to fill this void that be empty, you know what I mean? Because you are meant to fill you because you're full. The illusion is that you're not, right? And so part of the conditioning, societal, no matter what neck of the woods you come from, we have been conditioned to pacify, to nullify, to know every natural feeling we Possess by supplying it with something to entertain it more. It's like 
having a surprise birthday party and keeping up with the image you're constantly taking pictures of every moment instead of enjoying the moment right? it's like Seeing the lesson knowing the solution and still being part of the problem. It's like pacify them so much that they never seek out they never seek within themselves the thing that they seek without, right? I remember when my daughter was a baby. Think about it as a doting mother. You know, I don't I don't like to impose that view of motherhood for everyone because not everyone has that experience being a mother for many reasons. And you know, and it's not to be shamed to shame you or to make anyone feel a type of way. It's with compassion that I speak. I don't want to sit here and say that every mother bonds with their child and children, right? Or is doting or cares, right? Whatever. Um, I can only speak for myself, right? I've had my roller coaster moments. There's a m memory imprinted in my daughter's freaking upbringing of a year that in her mind, you would think it was 20, right? That when she would speak of it, it was the year I went on a quest, right? Because, you know, when you have children young, right, you grow up with them too. And up until that point of raising my daughter on my own, I had been nothing but a doting, committed um, mother focused on her ambitions and success to be able to be not another statistic, but an example of success, despite the odds, right? Having had my daughter and having from very young raised her completely on my own since she was one. Her father signed over his parental rights. We went to family court. <laughs> this is like so many moons ago. He fought me up until that point, tooth and nail, about how he was going to prove I was an unfit mother and blah, 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 blah. Right? And blah, blah. <laughs> right? And, um,. And even at that point, I was very, very calm. I just didn't want the drama. So since he had caused so much drama, right, and then had a, was stalking me and had assaulted me, that left me no choice but to have to protect myself and get like, a restraining order and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> he left me no choice. Because even up until that point, I was like, you know, I'm never going to chase you for money. I'm never going to do anything outside of what I wouldn't typically do for myself. If you want to be a part of your daughter's life, you can. I'm not going to stop you. But I will not chase you, fight you, or need you for anything. Me? Right? I was peaceful. I was kumbaya. Chillest. I was baby mom. I am not fighting for no man. Right? That is, was, has always been my mindset. It's always been like, you can have the problem if that's going to be the case. Right? And I've just been so prideful in that way from my upbringing. What I had to endure as a child with my parents. So, for me, it was... Yeah. No. Right? So... I'd rather be by myself. That's what I was saying. If you're gonna bring me drama, right? I'd rather be by myself. I have no quarrels 
in single land, nor do I ever feel lonely or bored. I have, to this day, have never experienced such a freaking vibration. Even as a kid, I used to look at people that said they were bored. I'm like, do you not see what I'm saying? <laughs> How can you be bored? <laughs> There's so much going on. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. What was I even saying? Mm -hmm. Right, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, Shiva. She got a lot to say. She's my most, all my cats talk. And they all have three distinct, different voices. But Shiva is the most vocal of the three. Yeah. Anyways, so. Hmm. Sometimes we just have to regroup, right? <laughs> and so, what I was trying to say was, I don't like to just, I don't like to assume that everyone has that same kind of chemical bonding experience with their children because it's not always like that. Sometimes, you know, I'm even seeing where your children can be your karmics, especially if you have children with a karmic. <laughs> Right? I'm not saying that this means that they're like bastard children or that they're not special. They're indeed special. My daughter's indeed motherfucking powerful. I see why she needed the blending of the two DNAs in this realm of existence in order to to energize and be the the breed of seed of ignite that she is. I was fortunate enough that he didn't he didn't step up to the plate because we see now why. Because how he had stepped up to the plate, drama for days, and she would have had a different upbringing, having had that kind of energy in her energy field, you know. So it was a blessing. But um, she even has a imprint in her mind. I don't know if you know what grade she was in. I remember the year. I hold myself very accountable, right? But up until that point, in my life, um, you know, I was at a different um, place, right? I've always been spiritual. I've always been spiritually inclined in this way. Like, if you knew me, you knew that about me. And that's it. Like, it is what it is, right? Um, there has never been a time in my life that I have never been spiritually inclined or having spiritual experience. I, I don't fucking know life without fucking going through some I used to call it cuckoo stuff. You know, the other stuff. That nobody sees but apparently I can. Right? Everyone that knows me from my life in any kind of timeline of meeting me for real for real, not this public shit on social media like everybody has this image to I'm not upholding no motherfucking image. I'm a hot mess and I'm a beauty at the same time, right? So, like, um, prior to, like, all of this publicity, right, um, I've always been deep. I am a trigger specialist. I see shit, hear shit, know shit. I have been saying since, <laughs> no. I don't know how I know, I just know. I don't know how I know, I just know. I don't know how I know, I just know. Clara Cognizance, right? Um, that's what they call that one. Clara Audience, when I say I hear, I listen. Who the fuck are you listening to? Right? Let me to distinguish between thought energies, stuck energies, spirit energies, other people's energies. Learning to see each slot for what it is. How many in this world are just like that? but have a distorted illusion of a view that has been conditioned into them to see that massive powerhouse of a gift of yours. I'm telling you, join my freaking Sunday ESP circle. It's going to be every Sunday. The first hour is free. There's an after party. 
free to may evolve into a coaching world VIP members and to any personal clients that they know who they are so won't go and say, hey, I had a reading with her two months ago. I'm a client. No. <laughs> That's not the client I'm talking about. Just in case. Throwing that out there. <laughs> oh, we had a reading. I'm a client. Am I free? No. <laughs> That's not the, if you're a personal, private client of mine, with the free access part to the after party, you already know. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Well, maybe there was somebody right now that watch this in that futuristic time frame like and like I just killed their whole like dream <laughs> like, oh. it's only 11 11 anyways for each event the a.m. and the p.m. there's two events right so that's two hours of free content for you a.m. p.m. Eastern Standard Time my time right every Sunday starting this Sunday this full moon right it's evolving your spiritual practices using practical magic daily twos, right? Like science, right? Using the laws of the universe to master alchemize your manifestations into motherfucking existence because that shit is real, folks. Regardless of the deepening, deepening effect of all this spirituality and what's it all mean and what's it all for and what's your mission and all this kind of stuff, when you master alchemy yourself, shit pops off in ways that you can make. Well, well. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Every time some recent, like, if any, you know, like I said, just because when the more you evolve, you will naturally isolate with no manifesting problem, nor will you be complaining about it anymore. Okay? I promise that. There's a sense of peace that comes in your own evolution once you put in these steps that are needed by you to take in order to facilitate and create and boost energies of marination that you are marinating, right? Into manifestation, creation, co-creating with your universal energy. Because to know is your opportunity to put that into good cosmic quantum use for your massive benefit, right, so that you can harmoniously co-create in full alignment with you, despite anything else that could be going on around in this world or externally or around you that that got nothing to do with you, even if it attempts to directly involve you in its madness. For those that I'm talking to right now that are, you feel me and you know what I'm, what I'm talking about, okay? You're in a position of authority energetically, spiritually, that you know better. And there's just certain things you don't commingle with anymore. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's already like, even the, the acknowledgement about it really sucks. Like getting over that too. Put that shit on the shelf. It sucks. Okay. For them. For that. Not for you though. So don't feed that cesspool of demonic energy, right? that wants to keep you in that cesspool of distorted 
alchemy. Right. So that's what the ESP circle is all about. It's helping you by helping you empower yourself, right? With knowledge is your power, right? That's the free aspect of it, right? A breakdown um, of whatever is going to be covered each week, different topic, different theme, different breakdown of that topic and the theme, whatever it's going to be, because all of this is intuitively being received by me. So for me to say, oh, I want this whole course program written up for you. It's being written up as I'm doing it for you. Okay. That's intuitive design. And spirit wants me to not wait and to do this as I learn and I grow and I evolve because there's no blueprint to your own self-mastery when you're an individual in this 3D perceived reality of an existence that is so far, you know what, something you're waking up to a little bit more deepest than most around you. So the ESP circle is, I guess, like advanced alchemy in some kind of sense, and or just getting you into that advanced alchemy state of mind, body, heart, and soul. The inspiration behind the creation of all of this is because of what you all hit me up for <laughs> all my life. How do you energize? I'm just, I'm now saying it in this tone because I've been asked that question in so many various ways but if I broke it down and got it to the root of what everyone is asking it's my energy people like my energy they find it genuine they would find it real they find it authentic they find it healing they feel good in my presence I touch you you want me to continue to touch you I see through I help it's something I've been doing Sorry guys for those that hate that I fucking help people. Probably helped you too, the ones that fucking hate me. You know, suck it. You know what I'm saying? Tell me more quiz. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? No time for entertain in that kind of way. Like so it's like on the shelf. Got no time for that. So there's like a purge occurring even now. So some of these witch runes. Let's see, there's a lot of different cards around me, and and I, you know, I like to do. I know that you know I do various different things. None of my videos are the same topic or style, and I don't do a lot of like the pre-pick of cards, and I like I can't really. Like, I did free pick a card legit legit years ago on my Instagram when I first started. Like back in like 2010, 11. I have no concept of the time. But back in that time frame, when I started to go public with my spirituality, Instagram was my first platform that allowed me to do so in creative ways. And that's when, you know, even back then, when I started already, I didn't want to do 9 to 5. But at that time, I had to do 9 to 5. Right? Or so we think. Right? Now, what are we doing? Are we having a midlife crisis in your late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s? Like, oh, what's happening? Don't you got a child you need to fundably take care of? Get a family that thinks you're going crazy too because you can support yourself. That's what you've proven to do all this whole entire time. So why are you allowing certain things to fall apart when you're trying to fit it all together? And then mind you, go through a whole different kind of leveling of spiritual reawakening that was going in the light and speed and heightenedness of when I was a child prior to my mother passing away that she was the one that helped me through those experiences that I was having them now exactly in those kind of like episodes, right? consciously to be able to observe what the fuck happened to me as a child. Evolution. That's how time helps you. For those that want to keep arguing, oh, time doesn't exist. Okay, in this 3D plane of existence, is time fucking stamp. 
it helps us navigate certain kind of evolutionary intellectualism that we freaking need to become more aware and in tune with because the more you are conscious in your processes not doing things absent-mindedly anymore just half ass or just half here half there la la land i got pisces moon people used to tell me i was a space cadet all the freaking time I was talking about that with some a beautiful soul goddess right earlier that they remembered that about me younger child right because we were like this going through massive spiritual stuff together too but two fucked up teenagers running away from abuse right finding solace comfort in one another trauma bonding right but in a healthier way because we were each other's support system through it right and so to this day through our trauma bonding and love in that kind of way that has always been a beacon of support to one another we've established a bond in our relationship right honest true authentic bold blunt as motherfucking can be solid you know what i mean that we can speak so frankly freely like for real remember those things to now be able to in our processes now of our spiritual evolution that we are each individually going through be able to really understand that time so much more by matter right so time does afford you the respect of being able to learn right so, right, oh, but, you know, so there's a time stamp, too, I, I know I keep going back and forth and whatever, but intentions to be with me on this evolutionary revolutionary rise, the number is happening at this time, right? Um, there's a time stamp even in my daughter's life as, you know, evolved and uh, different, I raised her. See, I didn't know what I was doing. Divine love, divine guide, divine protective, right? Even when I don't know. Even when I don't know. Maybe you know. That's what we like to call the miraculous, right? I faced massive opposition. Up until most recently, the most cu last couple of years, I dare someone say something. They wouldn't. Because I'm not in that energy field of even being open to receive any of that kind of opinion that wasn't warranted nor asked. But, you know, even with my family being harsh or hard on me or trying to tell me how to raise my daughter, because I was raising her to be a free spirit, where there's no fear in love. And if I can't learn to communicate with you effectively without having to threaten, hit, control, or manipulate, and I'm going to sit my ass down. And so I feel divinely guided, divinely spirited, divinely moved with wisdom to respond to my child in the way that she deserves. Not in the way that you think. I should respond. Oh, she's gonna walk all over you. Oh, I can see what this is gonna be. All this kind of stuff. I even, you know, had my own trials and tribulations of where I felt like the mother from Family Guy, where she had her growing pain, and who else does a child? act out on when they're going through their growth right and confusion then the people most closest right hurt people hurt people closest to you so i'm a single mother like i said raising my daughter on my own we are each other's supply and demand 
No shit, Sherlock, we're gonna bump heads. Not only that, astrologically too. Because a lot of our major planets are polar opposite. Mm -hmm. So as much as we are very we are very fluid because we do connect. We are also very bows and arrows. And our children are reflections of us too. I'm a warrior. What else would you think I was right? Someone who has her arrows and bow and arrow drawn, saying, cross this line and I'll pierce your heart. Right? Anyhow, I'm sharing. It's evolution. So the ESP circle is a whole other level of support that is being blueprinted as it's being created. It's not easy for me either. Because I still want to, in my imagination, hyperventilate. I just the thought. Because I'm dramatic like that. But I'm Okay, let's see where this is going to go. So these are witches' runes, casting runes. You guys know I use a lot of rune symbology. I have runes, you know, tattooed on my body too. Um, my story of runes, and I'm not gonna go deep into it, is I have been seeing runes and drawing them ever since I was a little girl. I used to just draw these runes. I didn't. Again, this is we flash forward years later, right? Where we're relearning some things, right? Runes kind of like never left, but I never infused what the message was trying to share with me until much later in life, if that makes any sense. So, runes reemerged for me strong. I used to doodle them, right? Because I'm a doodler, I doodle a lot of things, and um. I started to see them in smoke. So, smoke, right? Whatever smoke, whether it be sage smoke, weed smoke, at a time with cigarette smoke, right? Okay, smoke. I started seeing these symbols and shapes. And one day, I was like, let me see if these mean anything. Let me see. So, you know, I put them on a piece of paper and Google and searched. Now, I had to, I didn't know to call them runes, okay? I didn't know to say any of that kind of stuff. So, what I was searching, and this is language, okay? with so many different variations of ways that I can describe what I saw in my mind's eye or in the smoke and look at tons of images all over until I spotted what I saw which has meanings. Right? So that's my story with runes and castings and stuff like that. So, um, what's your spirit language? That's another thing I want to explore more on the in the ESP circle. It's just helping you further establish ruling mind, body, heart, and soul with yourself, right? So, whatever. Thank you. Your Aries. 
see if I make sure I each other as twins. Andromeda. The Nicia sister. Shiva. It's late. If I was sleeping, this is what they would be doing. If I was sleeping, it's three something in the morning. Okay. This one symbolizes power, action, vitality, and willpower. It may indicate that aspects of your life need immediate action or a general need to take control of your own life. It can also foretell of ill health or the arrival of a new male influence, right? So this is a man, right? So this is a man, and then something hidden, because this is the moon, right? So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing it, right? So, okay. I know that this is... Um, in in runes because this is the witch's rune and here it's saying this is of a man right so it's looking at it like this but the rune for that is Jesus it's the arrow up I at the name here it's just they're like their names are like Complex, you know what I mean? So evil, no evil is this. It's not evil. <laughs> this one, T wants. <laughs> See what I mean? Right. So that it's warrior, honor, spiritual strength, preparedness, self-sacrifice. It's spiritual self-discipline. Is that kind of like what we're talking about? Spiritual self-discipline, right? Supporting noble causes. Prepare for battles. Focus. It's having focus now, right? Self-discipline and honor. Right. Now. Right? Sharpen your body, mind, and sword. Now. Okay? It's the 17th room. It's the warrior room. To was. To was. To was. Achieving victory with honor. Yeah. Righteous success. Yes. Right. Right. So then you have the moon here, right? Right. So the moon. Here, this is a rune that foretells a change, right? Well we always know something comes out when something is hidden or being revealed or unveiled, like when the moon appears or some kind of shift of tide, of the emotional realm, too, that's going to stir the emotions in some kind of way, right? Making decisions, patience will be of great reward. Pay close attention to your dreams as the moon is the moon of the night and feminine insight. So it's like tapping into the divine feminine energy that is you at this time, right? The warrior, right? I'm using that. So it's like, because when I think of warrior, when I think of masculine energy, right? So that's why this one in the witch's room is a man, right? So it's that masculine energy. And then you got the moon, right? Which is that feminine energy. So these two are on the table, right? And then you got, what is this one? It looks like the water. It looks like water. Flight. This rune foretells of the arrival of important news. So there's important news. It is a positive rune and stands for good tidings, insight, and knowledge. It is a, also a rune of creativity to let your imagination soar. Right? Beautiful, right? So creativity. So something, right, being infused within you. I like to always go with the divine masculine energies, the divine feminine energies existing inside of you, right? And, um... And when you infuse the divine masculine and divine feminine energies existing inside of you, um, you create the holy trinity within yourself, right? And you're able to execute and move harmoniously within yin on out, yang, right? Um, acting in accordance to your own divine truth, will authentic too, because your yin is 
is, is in alignment with your yang and, and you're working harmoniously together, right? Then you have on oh, the wine, right? And this one, and the rune is a little bit different in the rune, but it's a protection rune too. But this one is the woman, right? So there's a man and a woman energy, right? Right? So some something coming, right? So this rune symbolizes healing and regeneration. It is a gentle and natural and natural rune to draw, right? Look for wisdom and comfort from women close to you. Um, it is a time to listen to your female intuition, right? So there's some kind of receiving too, right? And what's this one? This one is... Rings. <laughs> That's a ring. The rings together. The rings stand for a bond between people, a marriage, or a union which ties them together. This can either be of a romantic or a business nature. It shows alliances and a joining of minds and souls to complete a goal. So a joining, and this can be, like I said, as within, exudes on out. Or this can be, too, because as within, exudes on out. If this is happening within you, this is also could be happening for you, you know, because you're co-creating, or the energies are of that, right? And then you have this one here, which is romance. If you are single, this rune can depict a future romance, right? If already in a relationship, you can foretell of an arrival of renewed passion. It can also tell of passion and other aspects of your life and hold a warning of dangerous love affairs, right? So something is brewing, right? Because the fact of the moon energy being there, so like something's coming up, right? And then this, it's just like moving in directions, right? I feel like it's like a wheel, right? The, but this here is crossroads, right? So there's like some kind of crossroads happening. This rune shows a difficult time ahead. It can foretell of arguments and stagnation. It's time to watch out for enemies and reassess all aspects of your life, right? So some kind of crossroad now. And then you have this right here. The sky throne foretells of a much needed end to an aspect of your life, right? So something that needs to end right now. So that's kind of like when I started in the beginning of talking, right? Like, I don't remember what I was saying exactly, but it's bringing me back to the beginning of this video when I first started just babbling and stuff like that. Um, but, right, it says it may be a difficult thing to do, but it's necessary that you can move forward, right? It can tell of a divorce or a separation or a close closure of a phase of your life. Once this is done, you will have the strength to continue afresh. I said certain people just can't go, right? And you just have to, like, close certain things. Like, that's it. You just can't mingle with certain energies anymore. You can. But then I won't be seeing much of you. Once this is done, you will have the strength to continue afresh. It can also foretell of a ghostly haunting. It is time to end the old and begin the new, right? And here we go with this one. Harvest. This is the most positive rune to draw, okay? It represents good fortune and protection. Luck and abundance will fill all areas of your life. It is time to rejoice and enjoy. Beautiful. I actually like that. That was really, really, really nice. So, um, yeah. So, take with it as you will. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I um, appreciate each and every one of you. Right? Certain things have to come to an end for better things to come together, right? And you already know this. And there are certain things that are just it is what it is, and there's nothing you can do about that, right? And then, um, and there's certain things that you are being asked to discipline yourself for. And you got this. So I hope to see you on Sunday, every Sunday, whenever you can, right? Um, all the information will eventually be in the description box below. I am making the links on my website so that you can RSVP for these events, so stay tuned for that in the next day or two. Um, just check the description box because I'll update it on all on the videos that I have posted as of late. Um, when that's done, so whenever you do tune in, you find it and all that kind of good stuff, right? So, um, yeah, that's it because... Something... It's going to be brought up. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great one.